Hi, my name is Dick Lowenthal. I've been on the board of the Arts Garage for several years. I'm now vice chairman of the, uh, the board. Do some teaching here with uh, making use of my background as a jazz educator. And we have an adult class called Jazz and Java. And um, this is what we've been doing. I just came out of the class just this morning. We do six Mondays at a time, different topics. And I went to Juilliard for my masters. They didn't have a, a jazz program at that point. But it was good because I was able to break into the New York scene and started playing at Radio City Music Hall for a few years with people like Lou Soloff from Blood, Sweat and Tears who's in the trumpet section. And uh, that was a good introduction to working in New York. I started doing a lot of contracting, a lot of playing. Uh, eventually I started conducting the special unit of the Glenn Miller Orchestra for 10 years and contracting a lot of major performers and then had the pleasure of working with my, my mentor, Clark Terry, for about three or four years playing with uh, his band and contracting for him. Meanwhile, um, I started teaching at a university in New Jersey called New Jersey City University. Back then it was Jersey City State. Started their program, their jazz program. Had a lot of wonderful musicians. We started touring all over the world. Even took them behind the Iron Curtain, which was interesting, to Romania. And um, the, the students who are now in their late 60s all talk about that, you know, the trips. We went with Jerry Mulligan to Paris to do radio and TV shows. So that was uh, very exciting. I taught there actually for 50 years. You know, it's very interesting. I remember going to a Broadway show and looking in the playbill and it talked about the outstanding venues in the state of Florida. And the Arts Garage was the only one listed in, in Southeast Florida support live music. And the Arts Garage certainly supports live music. And that's, to me, that's one of the main focuses is support of live music.